the race for the 2nd Congressional District is headed to ranked choice runoff that will begin on Tuesday, according to the Secretary of State's office. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight on New Center, Maine at 11. I'm Caroline LaCour. If the results of the ranked choice runoff push either Democratic incumbent Jared Golden or Republican challenger Austin Terrio over 50%, then that candidate wins. The current totals uh, from the first round of voting show around half of a percentage point separates the candidates. They also tell an interesting story about the politics of Maine's northernmost county. New Center Maine's Donovan Lynch reports. With the race for Maine's 2nd Congressional District headed to a ranked choice runoff, official vote counts show northern Maine in a closer fight than expected. The election had been held a week before, 10 days before. I am convinced that he'd be the, uh, he'd be, he'd be who would have got elected. With Austin Terrio, a native of Fort Kent, leading the Republican ticket, local GOP leader Danny DeVoe was surprised his lead here wasn't more decisive. No, it, it is frustrating. But. In the first round of voting, Terrio captured 57.6% of the vote in Aroostook County. That's seven percentage points better than Republican Bruce Poliquin did two years ago. But Golden held his own, winning the towns of Madawaska and Van Buren. DeVoe says advertising spending had to do with it. It's not hard to tell. Just look at the money they poured into that. And in the county's biggest city of Presque Isle, Golden came within striking distance of Terrio, a near repeat of 2022. Terrio's campaign casting doubt on the count, claiming to have, quote, isolated the discrepancy to one voting machine. Outgoing Senate President Democrat Troy Jackson sees it differently. People here in Orissa County understood that Jared had delivered for them. Had spent time here. Still, Terrio's first round lead in the county may show how things have changed. You know, people told me that you couldn't win up here as a Republican. Now, 20 years later, people are saying you can't win as a Democrat. Donovan Lynch, News Center, Maine.